I'm Congressman Pete Visklowski, and I ask you to join me in celebrating Black History Month. This year's Black History Month is preceded by two landmark events in the history of our nation. The 150th anniversary of President Lincoln signing the Emancipation Proclamation in 1863 and the 50th anniversary of the Civil Rights March on Washington in 1963. Both events drew us closer to the founding ideal of a nation that guaranteed life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness to all Americans, regardless of race, creed, or culture. We celebrate the 150th anniversary of the Emancipation Proclamation. With the stroke of a pen, President Lincoln changed the course of history by creating a path of liberation for millions held in bondage. He wrote of the event, I never in my life felt more certain that I was doing right than I do in signing this paper. With his signature, Lincoln set our country on a course to fulfill its original dedication to the proposition that all men are created equal. We also celebrate the 50th anniversary of the Civil Rights March on Washington. On August 28, 1963, over 250,000 people crowded onto the National Mall to demand jobs, justice, and freedom under the law. Martin Luther King Jr. famously declared, I have a dream but some of his less repeated lines also touch us to this day. Let us not wallow in the valley of despair, he urged. We listened, we worked for change, and today we recommit ourselves to ensuring that the long arc of history indeed bends towards justice. Finally, we mourn the loss of a local civic leader and a man who led by example in the struggle for civil rights former Tuskegee Airman Quentin Smith, who passed on January 15th. Mr. Smith distinguished himself as a wartime pilot, a teacher, and principal in the Gary School System, and a leader in civic and community organizations like the Urban League of Northwest Indiana, the Gary Human Relations Committee, and the Lake County Community Development Committee. Quentin devoted his life to bettering his community and was a true role model for all Americans. We have all been enriched because Quentin Smith walked amongst us. We remember him and extend our thoughts and prayers to his family. While President Lincoln, Dr. King, and Quentin Smith have passed, I remain confident that they look down upon us and watch as new generations of leaders in the fight for civil rights emerge. Let us work together in the coming days, weeks, and months to make real the promise of justice, equality, and shared freedom that these icons of the civil rights movement had the courage to envision and the fortitude to pursue.